I started building my own little solar panels here at home more than a year ago. I used three by six inch solar cells untabbed, so I had to tab them all together myself. That was actually interesting and fun. And then I mounted them all together onto these boards, and this was a big mistake. As you can see, the the boards actually warped after I mounted, glued all these cells to the boards. Not the proper way of doing it. I have this little 300 watt uh, inverter that converts from DC to AC so I can run household stuff. I built this nice little box to contain the battery pack. Here's my solar charge controller. The battery pack I currently have that is not working too good is a 3S pack, 12 and a half volts. I've got three banks of cells in here as you can see. Um, they work okay but there is some cells in there that are bringing two of the packs down over time so I need to isolate and identify those cells. So it's now time to take each individual pack apart and start putting the cells on chargers and bring them all up to full power. Like I said, I need to isolate and identify the cells that are going bad in here. And um, I also want to completely rebuild my packs. These packs uh, were a pretty good idea. This is how I want to do it. I have these... Um, these little individual cell holders and you glue them all together and make a big one but I built it all wrong I didn't build it correctly here you see me putting um, six cells together inside a lipo bag and hooking them up to the IMAX B6 and we're gonna bring them all up to full charge that way I can let them sit all by themselves unconnected to each other for several weeks and I'll be able to easily determine which cells are losing voltage and which are not. These little custom battery packs I made, uh, like I said, they were a good idea but a very bad design on my part because they have open circuits on the bottom of it which means a short circuit could happen very easily uh, tried to fix that by covering it with duct tape as you see uh, which didn't really work it's just uh, it's a joke it really is I'm uh, not very proud of the the way I built those packs and they are done they are going in the garbage because uh, I'm not even gonna attempt to save those things separating the cells here I've got some that were already cycled back in November that I will leave them because I am checking them and making sure they're all good the four green cells you see there are my original 18650 cells that I harvested out of my own personal first laptop from 2005. Uh, I am separating those there because uh, I want to cycle them first. Uh, they seem to be a little bit low on voltage, so perhaps these old four green 18650s might be the issue there. So it seems like any more in life as I get older, I got to write myself notes to uh, try to remember how to do anything. Uh, these are going to be sitting for some time, so uh, I write myself a simple note. Uh, fully charged batteries go in this box, and now they're going to sit for at least 10 days or two weeks, and then we'll start cycling them if they're holding their power. Now we move on to what I call my little testing station. I quickly slept this together one afternoon about a month ago and it was simply because I wanted to test out and figure out how to use this little volt amp meter 
that I bought. This has a shunt on it, and it took me a while to figure it out, so I mounted it to this board and uh, finally did figure out how to make this thing work, and it works pretty good. Don't know how accurate it is, but I will be finding that out soon. I've got a second charge controller mounted here, and then I've got another small, small 3S pack of 9 cells to give me 12 volts. So it's just a miniature little version. I also bought a BMS board and I tested it out and found it was not doing what I thought it should be doing. Uh, I've also got a coffee can here full of a bunch of old 12 volt uh, car lights and things like that to use as my load. There's even an old oil pressure gauge with a light down in there. Uh, it does work to uh, provide a load for this system, but it's very, very unclean, and this whole thing looks like a great big mess, I'll agree. Uh, but it does work. Uh, I'm probably, I'm going to start rebuilding this uh, the first thing while I'm waiting for cells to be uh, uh, cycled and charged and all that good stuff. Back to cycling cells now. Here I start out with the green 18650s, my original batteries. These would all prove to not really be usable anymore as I was cycling them. Um, each one did get a little warm, which kind of concerned me. And the capacity of them ended up being quite a bit lower than uh, what they originally should have been. Here I am uh, working on a little, uh, the small little testing uh, battery bank, coming up with some ideas here. Um, finishing up with the green 18650. As I said, the capacity on these four batteries is very, very low here. Um, and I don't believe I will be using these in the big pack. Uh, I don't know. They originally were at uh, 2200 milliamp hours when they came from the factory, and now they're way down, probably unusable. As you see me building the pack here, I'm totally experimenting, uh, just trying to come up with an idea of my own using the nickel strip. I'm folding it over to make it twice the size, and I think this will work. This is totally an experiment on my part. It's going to be a lot cleaner and a whole lot safer to do the bank this way. Um, just we're going to find out if this is going to work or not. I can't imagine that it won't. So when I am cycling these cells, I am simply discharging them using the IMAX because it gives me the milliamp hour reading but then I'm using the other small little uh, two cell charger to bring them all back up to charge it makes it a little faster I seriously considered buying a second IMAX uh, but I don't think I will because this will all get done I've I've got a couple of months before the weather changes and solar is in good shape as you can see here the capacity of this cell is pretty low, not really usable. This is what I'm facing outside my house here. Winter is setting in. The sun, if it does appear in the sky, is so far to the south that uh, it's just a few hours a day I could get some solar, but it's just it's just a bad time of the year for the next couple of months. Perfect, perfect opportunity to be redoing my battery pack. We'll be storing all my cells in the, the nice little wooden box here. I've got these that were done in November, all cycled and ready to be used. And then I got a lot of other cells that are just sitting here waiting to be cycled and the freshly cycled ones will also go in here. In my next video, I'll start rebuilding the experimental pack. Thanks for watching.